Welcome to this edition of What a Horse. Yes, sir. Before we even get started, I want to ask everybody to pray for Jerry Beatty. He, yes. uh, he's in pretty bad shape. Uh, everybody, I know we're all worried about him, but uh, he, uh, he's, he's a diabetic, and I guess all the heat and everything kind of got to him anyway. His, his sugar dropped to 30, which is not yeah, good. No, it's and, not. They've moved him to Murfreesboro where they're going to start dialysis. And uh, he had some kind of reaction to that. So if you will, just pray for him. He's a super good guy. He's one of the good old country yes. boys. Yes, you're right. So, well, if you do your deal, we'll uh, get this kicked off. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the 5 to 9 more than makes up for the 9 to 5. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, I got a couple of announcements, quite a few really. Cornersville Lions Club is Friday night, Cornersville, Tennessee. Call K McDaniels at 931-993-3238. Start time 6 p.m. Judges Ross Campbell. Alabama next week. Now, this is Alabama Ladies Auxiliary is uh, July 19th in Baylington. Joan Kemp, 205-566-6090. Start time 6 p.m. Judge Terry Gibbons. And you got the very next night, same location, Baylington, the Roger Latham Memorial. And you can contact uh, David Latham at 256-572-1820 or Joan Kemp. She helps with all of them. 205-566-6090, and it starts at 6 p.m. The judge is Jody Livingston. Then they got one in Parker's Crossroads on the 20th. You can call Jim Roberts, 731-225-4824. Uh, start time 7 p.m. for that one, Judge Ryan Parker. Taylor County Horse Show in, in Campbellsville, Kentucky. Call Eddie Browning, 270-849-8861. Judge to be announced. They also got one in Cooper, Cooper Corporative Care. It, I don't know what all this is. It's a memorial for, for Tim Phil Pop Memorial. It's in, uh, you can call Donna Nixon, 606-864-2351. Their judge is going to be announced. Wayne 
Borough Charity Show. It's going on. You can call Cindy Bryant, 828-508-1325. That's in North Carolina. Ryan Blackburn is going to be the judge up there. Then Heart of Champions is the 25th. That's on the Thursday. Uh, Marcy Allison, 931-639-2518. Start time's 5. And judge will be Lane Leverett. He'll get to judge that one for he got up. Uh, kind of lost out on the last yeah. one. He mm -hmm. got hurt. He's doing better. So, you went to Mississippi? Yes, I went to Mississippi. Well, tell me about it. I tell you, it was a good, it was a good time. They had a good, a good time. time. I mean, they had over 3,000 people that was there. And Holly Branch, I just want to tell everyone thank you all for the hospitality y'all gave me was there, and thanks for watching the, the TV show. Well, y'all heard it. Y'all heard the man here. He said thank you. Yeah. Good. I want to make a statement about this weekend. Here it is. D, D. Cantrell gave me this. Christmas in July, 508 entries. Money Tree, 198 entries. Woodbury, 168 entries. 874 entries. And according to show, that's a 98% compliance rate. And even if you took into account the ones that were created by the USDA and Woodbury, which they did a good job of creating, believe me, uh, still 97% compliance rate. My hat goes off to our trainers because number one, it's hot, late night, but 800 horses? I mean, I you, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's a wonderful time. Man. That's a good... I, Turnout. That's, that's 874 is a lot of horses, buddy. And I'm going to tell you, they had some wonderful shows this, this past weekend over there. Some at the great horses. horses. Some, some great real horses. good horses. Some horses that you haven't seen in a while, and I mean, that made you take your head off when you see them come through the ring. Well, I'll tell you what's, what I really enjoyed. Normally, I call enough people to get enough video together to do a show. And uh, this time, I had people texting me and asked me. We ended up with a, a ton of victory passes, reserve ads. I even had some that were down in the, that they were so proud of their horse, and rightly so. The caliber of horses, yeah. the talent out there, some of these classes were unbelievable. And I'd, I'd look, and a lot of times I'd see a horse second or third place that I thought was the best in the class. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, it was just... Yeah. Well, that's the biggest thing of it, Jerry. You know, everybody liked the first and second place horses, but sometimes you get them horses that third and fourth that, you know, that could have won the class, but just got uh -huh. looked over by the judge or whatever. But, I mean, it's a... I mean, to me, if you like your horse and your horse perform like you want them to perform, you know, show it. Just you go know, for it. That's right. Show your horse. Show your have horse. a good time. I do want to say this. Uh, every now and then, we have an audience. Yes. And, and we've got an audience over here today of some young people that come in and look at them. They're, they're hiding they, now. They, they, they're supposed to be waving and clapping and cheering and all of this. And instead of that, they, they were sitting there. They were, <laughs> wanted to be on TV, and now they don't know that's, what to do. That's right. They got nervous in this. <laughs> <laughs> now, now they're waving. Right. That's just to show we do have an audience here every now and then. Yeah. So sometimes it works out, and sometimes it don't. <laughs> All righty, we got a, uh, there's one other thing I want to point out. I have talked with uh, my buddy across the street and Giles Dunn, and we're going to start doing lab diamonds. Yes. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, I'm really excited about them lab diamonds because they are the same as true diamonds, but we got a little video, let y'all see exactly what Giles has got right now. If you don't know how to ask, let diamonds do the asking for you. You can now get the same chemical, physical, and optical properties as mine diamonds with lab-grown diamonds. They are graded the same standards as mine diamonds because they are grown by the same process as cultured diamonds through two methods, high pressure, high temperature, and chemical vapor deposits in a controlled area. These diamonds are as real as mine diamonds, possessing the same chemical and physical properties. The one major difference is time. Lab diamonds can be grown in weeks, 
to a few months, reducing the cost while providing the same quality. That, that, that's some beautiful stuff. Over you know, Jerry, you know, you with all this jewelry stuff, you know, my wife watches the show, and now every time <laughs> I see it, she always says, ooh, I like that right there. And, and now here I am, got to spend some of, you, some of the money you give me for training let me on the jewelry. Let, let me tell you something. My wife, I, all the stuff I've sold, tells me I lost my ring. So she's got to have another ring. And I finally, I, I broke down and I bought the new ring. I carried it home. We're looking good. And I said, well, where did you lose the other one? I should have asked this in advance. Yeah. And she said, well, I, I was sitting here on the, in the couch and I just noticed it was gone. I, I'm not sure where I lost it. So I said, get up. <laughs> <laughs> I fill around, fill around, and I find the, the ring. Now she's got two rings. She had two oh, rings. She would not let me take the other one back. So that's rule number one, fellas. Always make sure that it's lost or gone. But I will say this. Since she saw this, she's already telling me, you know, they're not really as expensive as the real ones. <laughs> the other ones. And they're real diamonds, too. But she said, but those other ones that they have to mine, they're higher. Well, that's true. So... Uh, she she's bucking. She just wants to. She give me that hint. Well, yeah. Well, with her, it's not a hint. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand. We've been married that many years. The the hints are gone. gone. That's right. It, it's a. Uh, what was it? I, I watched the the tranquiloquist that that does the dummies, and uh, the, the old guy says says that uh, his wife just tells him what to do. That's it. That's it. That's, so I understand. That's it. No, no more beating around the bush. We're just going to do it. There is one other thing I want to talk about is the Supreme Court rulings are, they can really help us because there's a lot of things that are going to be brought up. We filed our lawsuit last week to where, about, about all this. And I'm going to tell you, Jerry, to me, the it has more to do than just horse industry because across the board the uh, administrative judges have twisted the laws to suit what they wanted they have fined people and, and of course some of our guys have been fined several thousand dollars yes but when i got to reading some of these companies that were fined three hundred thousand six hundred thousand dollars that's a lot of money and we've got trainers that they tried once, two, three times before they could finally find a judge that would find them guilty. I'm wondering now, since they've decided that what was going on is, I don't know whether you'd say illegal or wrong, but it was sure enough unethical. How many of these trainers could go in front of a judge and say, well, your honor, they said that what they did wasn't right, that it was wrong, the Supreme Court. So how about, can we overturn this? Can I go back to showing? Yes. Makes me wonder how many people will do that or how many of our trainers will do it. I know I've talked to a couple that said that they're talking to their attorneys. But I'd love to see all of our trainers back oh, in the oh, ring come that's, celebration that's right, time. Because I'm going to say a lot of this, the, the time that they are serving is on stuff that, that the government messed up on and done it illegally to yeah. me. Well, we talked the other day about Billy Gray. Now, Billy Gray is not with us anymore, but he was, he was a legend. Yes. He served four years for a scar rule on a horse that never missed a show. That you exactly right. And so yeah. I don't see how that's right. It's not right. It's unethical. It's wrong. It's dishonest. And it's just like this weekend. We were having a great show. Our DQPs were doing their job. They weren't letting horses go in that shouldn't be in. And then they show up in Woodbury and come up with this Mickey Mouse stuff again, creating violations rather than hunting. If the horse makes it through the show DQP system, there's nothing wrong with that horse. That's right. 
but they have to come in and say, no, they didn't do their job. So we're going to create these violations so we can show in court that they're wrong. There's only one problem now. These trainers they're giving violations to, they're not going to go in front of one of their judges. They will go in front a, a real judge that has standards and, and most likely a lot more ethical than what they've been facing. Because I just don't see why they want to continue to do it. That's what gets me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they go through the QP and then they get over and start scratching around and bailing around and trying to find this and that or trying to create something, they take that to court in a real court of law, they're going to laugh them out of there. Yeah. And, and or if, if I was a judge, I would. I'd just ask them, where's your proof? Because too many times they have found a horse in violation, carried it even to Root and Riddle, and said, well, they turned this horse down for scar rope. Well, we can't find the scar. Frank Eichler, who does tremendous amount of work for this industry, took 29 horses to his barn, had them biopsied, every one of them biopsied that were turned down for scar rule. Out of the 58 biopsies run, couldn't find one that was a true scar. Just another example of overstepping by the USDA. So I'd hate to think what some of these other agencies that use the same twisted justice, as I'm calling it, because it's, it's not an honest way to, yeah. be, to treat people. Well, my biggest thing of it is they call different things foreign substance. They take Corona that you sell at a regular store yeah. to doctor a horse, grease a horse up and stuff like that, and they call it a foreign substance. Now, how can you call that foreign substance and that is somewhere that you, you, know, that you yeah. buy at tractor to supplies and, to, and stuff like that. And so to I mean, help the horse. To help the horse. So how <laughs> can you call that foreign? How can you call that? You can't use that. Well, that's the whole thing. That their whole their whole deal is to create a violation. It's not to find a violation. It's to create a violation, and it, that's one of the reasons why the Supreme Court says, "Hey, nah, this ain't right." Because I don't believe that these stores will sell stuff. That that's hurt harmful. a horse, that harm before a horse. That's you know, harmful you to a horse. That. No, well, they won't. Matter of fact, it's probably against the law. That's right. But they're not dealing with the USDA because the USDA will let every other breed, every other breed, use the same stuff that we use that they say is foreign substance. All these other breeds, it's, it's fine if they use or it. Or let another breed not check. That's right. They're not checked. They don't look at them or nothing. That's right. Here's one that we missed that I had to apologize for because I, I really did. And I, I told Robbie when I saw him that I really like that horse. That is a nice horse. Hey, it, it really is. Private Dixie and Robbie Bradley for Wes McFadden. That is a super nice mare. Robbie does a, a good job he on does. the horses now. He's and I tell you, he travel. Every time you look up, you'll see no. him over at a horse he show. He did disappoint me, though. He didn't show up in the costume class as Abraham Lincoln, and I was betting on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. He really is. And He's a good a guy, real good guy. The mayor's got a lot of walk in there. A whole lot of walk. Just three years old. But I did have to apologize because we we're supposed to have it on yeah. there, and it wasn't that your fault. I got to blame somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Belfast. We got some victory passes from there. They had a real nice show down there. Oh yes. There's Cole Hahn and Allie Joe. She was reserved in that class. I'll tell you what, that young lady, she she's in it all. Oh yeah. She was in flat shot equitation, two equitation classes this weekend. Then she was in the pony class, two pony classes. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was, she was showing her horses. 
Right here, I am the boss lady and Bob Adcock. That's another that's, real good three year old mare. That's three year old mare. That's, that's going to be a tough class. Yes. Especially when you go with a three year old, if you show three year old mares. Yes. Hey, that's going to be awesome. Then you put them all, yep, it's going to be good. Bob's a super good guy. He is. He, he really is. He, he gets it done. Bob is one of them guys that you don't never know what he think because he always got a smile on his face. Yep, always Every happy. Time, always happy. And here, welcome back. I am so proud that this young lady is back showing now. And if you watched her horse, that horse didn't make a ball, no, uh -uh. buddy. I mean, just a walking horse. Steady getting it done. Arby's a sweet young lady. Yeah. She does a lot of uh, ribbon presentations. I guess she gave out so many ribbons, <laughs> she said, about the time I got me one. Well, that's right. <laughs> All right. Now, where are we going? Going to the Angels. We're going to get to regular horse show now. Oh, yeah. But this is the Angels' victory passes. There's Top Gun Maverick and Bill Calloway for Bob Badcock. That's a good horse. That is right a good there. horse. Real good horse. Top Gun Maverick. Has Bob showed that horse? I don't know if he showed him or not. I don't think he has. I don't think he has either. We might see that during yes. celebration. Mm -hmm. Right here, give you cold chills and Becky might. I tell you what, that's a good horse. Oh yeah. She made a great show. Made a great show. Take a look at my class And I'm gonna tell you what, her son, Jesse doing a good job. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. He's doing a real good job. Yes, he's doing it. The... These young trainers are, are moving they on. Are. What was they moving on up? Well, they're getting some talented horses in. They're like I always say, a trainer ain't no better than the horses he get to fool with. That's it. You that know, is if it. you got talented horses, they make a, you can make you look good. Yeah. In a hurry. And here's GG's Majestic and L.C. Bradford. You know, I felt like a nut one time. I was going to ask her to be on the show with one of the youth. Uh -huh. She's 20 something years old. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought she was, I thought she was a teenager. Beautiful young lady, and, and she, she does very well with that mm -hmm. horse right there. Her mother loves to watch her show. Yeah. And here's Skylar Nipper on Space Cowboy. That's a nice horse. Oh, yeah. Skylar's a good rider. Yeah, she has some good teachers. Yeah. I had a long conversation with a friend the other day about her grandmother, Billy. Mm hmm Billy was a, Bill Nipper was a special lady. And Skylar's a special young lady. Yeah. She works with a scoop. And right here's a king thing in Bob Adcock, 15, two and under. That's another real nice horse. You know that announcer down there took your story away from you. You know that, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, he made reference to you on that show. He, he did give you a byline. <laughs> Good show down there. They did have a good show. All right. They did a, a wham bam job and then we started Hell Week. Yeah. You know, though, you got 10 days of the celebration, but they don't go as late. That's right. And mm -hmm. then when you have these other shows, everybody starts calling in, I want this class, I want that class. 
they keep getting bigger and bigger. bigger yep. But celebration puts a lid on it. Mm -hmm. that, that's the good part. <laughs> that's a good point. You are exactly hey, right. You do your thing and we'll get started with some VPs from this week. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another World Grand Champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. I fell in love with Tennessee from the second that I saw it. From the beautiful rolling hills to the beautiful rivers and streams, the ecosystem and the wildlife are awesome here. But it needs constant care, and that means picking up litter and trash every single chance you get. It's totally polluting the ecosystem, totally polluting the natural resources, and it's a big hazard for our local wildlife. Please join NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and join me in keeping Tennessee beautiful and keeping this part of our great legacy. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. Well, we started what they call Hell Week. Yes. With Christmas in July on Tuesday. And from there, we just kept going, going, going. Cause they had a great show. They, they had several classes every night. But the quality of horses that I saw, I mean, it was, it was, it, it was really, really impressive that you'd look out there and all you saw was good horses. Yes. You didn't. No slack time. Nobody looked out of place. Everybody's going. Uh, looked up one night and at uh, the money tree, and here come Rodney Dick strolling in, which he's back, and that's yeah. good. So all in all, this whole thing is just, just everything's looking good. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get started with the big passes from Christmas in July. Uh, there's ill predicted storm and Ali Joe. Now that was her first equitation win. Yes. And she would just continue through the week because she she showed constantly all weekend. But this, this is just one of her equitation wins. That's what's very impressive with me. That impresses me with Ali Joe is that she's not only performance, she's flat shod, she's, and, and plus, she's working with uh, a spotted horse on her own, doing, okay. doing the training herself. Yeah. Here's a kingpin and Bob Adcock, you're 15 to an under winner. Tell you what, that horse is gonna be hard to beat he during is celebration. Gonna be he gonna be hard to beat, he is a nice horse. Nice, real nice. Bob won these, it just stays involved. He does. And I tell you about one thing, I can see now what kind of horse he like. Every horse is up here, yep. head up in the air right there now. Every got horse that, he rides got, got that head up in there just to bang it. Just to bang it, that's right. Getting it done. All right, Jose, show off. 
rest meals. I tell you what, she just she does a great. She job does a good job presenting the horse. She yeah. really does, and a real nice lady. Chris, they need better lighting in that arena over yeah. there, though. Hey, what now? She she set a horse. She can. She, she does, does a good job. Well. She does an outstanding job, I think. Yeah. Jose Showoff, Nancy, and Tommy Mills. And here's I Sing Dixie, your Lebanon underwinner. How did Joe just? How did Joe? She's she's in it all, man. She does not miss a beat. I believe she didn't warn more than she didn't lost. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. She Even did. from the lead line class on up, I mean, she's a... Well, she, when she, when she does lose a class, she just takes Oh, yeah, she stride. does. She does. She, she does. She's a, she's a good sport. She, she is just, a good sport. Uh, Her whole family is a good sport, you know. She just loves to ride. And here's uptight Jose and Tim Smith for Bruce and Robin McDonald. I tell you what, if Tim's come back, he is letting people know that he's yeah. here. He's doing a good job. That's uptight Jose and Tim Smith. Riders Cup age Mary Gelding's winner. Bruce and Robin McDonald on the entry of Shelbyville. Uptight Jose and Tim Smith, congratulations. Oh, Tim, get her done, can you? Yep. Good horse. Jimmer's Country Girl. Right there's Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Lee and Carol Baxter. Now I'm gonna make some statement here. That horse showed again with Carol and did real well. One this class was reserve in the amateur class. And that I mean that's two outings in, at one show. That's another good mare right there. Yes, sir. Real good mare. That's a nice one. Of the, one of the best out there. Cousin Bob. Right here's Cousin Bob and Tanner Burke for Shane Porterfield. Shane was tickled with that. He, Shane said that he was working the trailer. <laughs> that's, that's what he was doing all week. I told him, I said, I didn't see you get nowhere. And he said, I was working for trailer. <laughs> and here, hey, nice here's honey one of my favorite mares, my honeybee, and Taylor Walters. She is nice, but she is that. Got a great walk. I know Molly said they were tickled with it. I don't blame but I would be too. I mean, fluid. That's right. It, it, everything you'd want. I don't blame Molly. I'd be tickled to death too. Great mare. And right here, honored in Texas. I thought he was a walking piece oh, yeah. of work, buddy. And I mean a walking piece of work. I was heads up, walking, using his back end, using his front legs. It's good all the way around. Man, that's all you can say. Hey, when they're that good, you go with it. Right 
Right here's the paddock master and Kenny Smith. I tell you what, that horse looked fantastic. He won this one, but now he also won in Columbia. And he he looked great in Columbia. Yep. Horse all the way around. It's just a good horse. I don't care which way you cut it. But Kenny, I mean, he could probably make a living training. Oh yeah, he, Kenny can work. He know what a good horse is, and he can and he can make a good horse. Plus, you got a good stable mate. Yeah. Right here, Big John Coffee. I'm gonna tell you, it's Big John Coffee. This is his work. Oh yeah. He, is, he hasn't done a good job with that horse. He's done a great job with him, but I'm gonna tell you now, it's gonna be it's gonna be some reckoning with this horse right here, because yeah. he, he's gonna come up and surprise some people. He just got it done. And I mean he got it done. They have probably ended up on him. Oh yeah. That's a nice horse. There he is. And right here, Mr. Bocephus. This is Smith Beasley's horse too. That's a pretty thing, buddy. Oh yeah. That black's mane and tail. Beautiful horse. Your Riders Cup model winner is Bocephus and Robert Mills. Beth Beasley, Athens, Alabama. Bo Cephas. You know who else called Bo Cephas? Hank Williams. Jr. Mm -hmm. That's what Hank Williams called him when he was a baby. It's Hank Williams Jr. It was called Bo Cephas. It's a pretty horse. Switchblade. Right here, Switchblade. And Allie Jo Jacobs. She rides this horse better and better yeah, she does. every time she goes out. She was in there with in a tough class, and I mean a tough class. That's what it's all about. Getting when it's tough. Which blade? Here in Jacobs got the entry of store on the Here you come, Switchblade Alex Jones. Doing a real good job. Right here. I'm big enough to That's a nice horse. I'm going to tell you, that's another nice horse right there. Oh, gee, the competition with these kids, this one, they had like gin. And I am March Madness was in there. Oh yeah. So I mean it was it was full of some good horses. And Maxine, she can flat ride, so just a great class. A lot of talent. A lot of talent. Oh yep, yeah. that's I'm gonna tell you that was a that was a good show. That right. was a good real good class right there. From top to bottom. Yep. That's it. All the way, top to bottom, there's outstanding horses everywhere. And I guess we're going to, we're going to go right to the money tree. That works. That mean, it works for me. I, I love the videos. Especially when you have them shows, all the shows that we had this last past week here. Yeah. You got a bunch of good classes. And right here, that was equitation winner number two. Allie Jo Jacobs, she, she just wants in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she'll do equitation, she'll do flat shots, she'll do it all. Well, but that's what you take. That's what it takes to, to be a, a successful rider in his business. Well, she was you riding know? Sunday. Yeah. She, I talked to Jake and he said, well, she's already got four out and rode today. So that, I mean, that's what it takes. It takes dedication. And I'm gonna have to say that's one thing that impresses me about this young lady. Yeah. Is she's dedicated to really working at it, not just doing it, but working at it. 
and it's the metalist. Now, you can talk all day long. I, I'm you thinking. can compare it to everything, but now, the metalist, a piece of work. Look, you are exactly right. He, Eli does such a great job in the battle that was going on down there yeah. with the Lebanon under in this class right here. Hey, when they both down that sideline, it's just unreal. He's about like the mother, like the other good horses. I mean, what else can you say about him? Hey, you can say when you look up, say, here comes Eli. Eli. That's right. Eli and the medalist yes. all the way, buddy, because they're working, they're going after it, and they're getting it done. Oh, yes. But he can flat ride. There's no doubt about it. A super horse. Does a good commercial, yep. too. And here's your reserve winner, Tea Time Charlie. Now, I'm going to tell you, these two, Allie Joe and, yes. and Eli, they battle it out. It, it, I think it just tickles each one of them when the other one does win. Yeah. Because they're both of them good sportsmen. Tea Time is it, a good horse, too. So. I'm you, that, that 11 under class is a tough division to be in. I almost rather go in the state class than going against the 11 under. Hey, you ain't going to go in there and just walk out. That's right. You got horses like this, but I believe this one right here may end up in the show pleasure class. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of time. Jake was talking about it, but tea time, Charlie, he's a good one. No yeah, doubt about it. A real good one. They're done. And here she is, Kendra Myers on a gin to win. This is one piece of horse. Yeah. Her father picked that horse out and said that he really liked him. And I understand why. Because that horse oh, yeah. can get it done. And been winning for a good while now. Yeah, he is. Yes. Anytime he's in there, he, he's working for the top slot. Yeah. And normally he'll, he'll get it. He's just a good horse from start to finish. Purdy, and I mean Purdy, big black stud. Yeah. I mean he can he can go. Kendra, beautiful lady, she can ride. Oh yeah, she's a good rider, real good rider. That's what it takes to make it in this world. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, these horses they just uh, I don't know. His first night out, that oh. was a good one. Hey. It's another flat shot. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Allie Jo, she doesn't care. Just put me on a horse and let me get out mm -hmm. there. That's all she cares about. You give her a horse and she's going to she ride. And and does well. That's what gets me. She does well. Even like when she was doing the model class. First night out. This one got a shot. It went in and all this oh, year, yeah. too. Anytime Allie Jo goes in there, you better watch out because she's in there to win. And I tell you, I like to watch some good flat shot class. The oh, good, I do too. The good ones, the, the real the good, good all day trail like. pleasure and stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of good ones out there. But they, these horses are easy to ride. Yeah. Here's quite an honor and Maxine Beasley. They better be watching this one come celebration time too, because this young lady can flat ride that horse, and that, that's a big, beautiful horse. Yeah. You know, I didn't realize how big that horse is, well, that horse is until I stood up by him the other day. And I mean, good, I mean, a big, big mare. A big, big mare. mare. Yep. And I don't know, Beth put Maxine on it, and Maxine gets it done. Yes. She, she's just a, well, both of them, Beep, her and BB, both of them, they, they just, they took to the horses. Well, I'll tell you what I did, I got to eat me some good cookies. <laughs> you the, got the cookies? I got the cookies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, they, they gave me some over at, uh, at uh, Christmas in July. I got three, buddy. <laughs> right here we go, Born a Maverick. This horse comes in, gets your attention, and he keeps your attention. He he flashy a, going horse. I mean, well, you can pick him out. I mean, yeah. you can have 30 horses out there, and you're going to find that one because he's going to stand out. He's, he's beautiful and got a bold way of going. And like you say, Bob's peeking between the mirrors. And everybody likes him. Everybody, I mean. Everybody just like him. Way he goes, way he gets it done. Bob's always smiling. Oh, yeah. You can always depend on that. Get her done. This ride, I, I was shocked that this horse placed where it did. I just, I just don't understand it. This, this is a good horse. 
never made a bobble. Yeah. Flat walked, got it done, head shake, and just, I mean, it's just real all over, nice horse all over. Well, it is. And Debbie does a good job of riding that horse. She does, and, and I don't care, she always has a smile on her face. Yep. Because she just, she's like so many other people, she just loves the show. Yep. And that Cerveza is, is a good, good horse no matter what. People better believe that that's one good horse. That's a nice, real nice horse. Uh, right here, I'm, I'm on, I think this horse right here has a outstanding yep. shot at winning it all. Cause it, that's one that you're definitely going to notice when it comes in. I guarantee you, you're going to see that horse cause he's flashy, he's beautiful. Tim does a great job of showing it. I'm so proud for Robin and Bruce. Well, I am too. I mean, it tickles me that they got the caliber of horses they got. The that's Cavender. right. He is, he is something else. And, and Bruce and Robin couldn't ask for better people. No, you can't. Be I like the way this horse goes. I can't help it. I love it. He's just huge and got that big bold step and flashy. Yeah. Real flashy. Real flashy going horse. It does. Real, I mean, real nice could, horse. I wish he was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I really do, cause he, he is he is something else. He'll make you proud. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yep, it's your turn. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee Walking Horse Champion. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. All right. Now we're going to go up to Woodbury. And of course, uh, Woodbury had a great show, but they, they, they still got hit with the USDA, yeah. which I, I hated. But that's part of it. It's just. Uh, I wish it'd come a time when we could go to a horse show and inspections would be on the level yeah. from start to finish, not creating anything, just living with what is rather than what you want to be. Here's your winner, Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs. I tell you what, all these horses, that one may end up in oh, yeah. show pleasure. Mm -hmm. cause she, Allie Joe's got a string of horses that Jake had built her up a string to where she can show in different divisions, different ways. And, and Cole Hahn is a horse that's pretty talented. Oh, yeah. 
and real Allie talented. Joe, Allie Joe can ride, so that's that's what everybody's looking at. Maneuvering around, a lot of horses are going from the ship regular class to get rid of that tail brace and going into the show pleasure division. Some of them knocking the shoes yeah. off. So right here's one that could it could do it in a heartbeat. Here's Ladies Privilege and Thomas Derrickson from Missy and Tim Johnson. Three-year-old Marin Gildan, reserve winner. She's tickled with this horse. Now she really likes him. She uh, she texts me about him, about her. Said that that was one good mare. And I tell you, I, Thomas is doing a super job. Oh, he is. I Thomas mean, does a great job. Hey, you got to be proud. Oh yeah. I know yeah. Missy was very uh, bragging on him, really. Uh -huh. I mean, because he was good. He does a good job. It is privilege, Thomas yeah. Derrickson. Now, right here, this was a class, Melody. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was packed. The Hoss and Allie Joe Jacobs took the blue. And I, I was watching that. There was some great horses in there, real good. And this, this is a, was what was going to happen during the celebration. Yeah. Going to be a lot of good horses, going to be head to head in there. They're going to be going after it. Yeah. And that, the Hoss looked fantastic. Allie Joe, the best, really the best I've seen. Mm-hmm. Out day is. She got some nice horses. Jake and them got some real oh, good horses. Yes, they do. Yeah, now, that, that's the best I'd seen the hoss. And, and Allie Joe was just flat riding. She was taking, getting everything she could out of that horse. And the second place horse, the country lineman, it was right with him. Yeah. That I kept looking at those two, and they were really getting it done. BB, she's always in the hunt. Anytime oh, yeah. she goes in, you better get ready because she's going to be there. She's going to be doing what she can to win a class. And the country lineman did super good horse. Yeah. What more can you say? We just got a lot of talent. Oh, we got a lot of talented horses out there. A lot of good horses. And, and the, the young classes, the young riders and stuff like that, I'm telling you, and the amateur classes, that's the classes to watch now. Yeah. Our youth is unreal. Yeah. I mean, that competition is outstanding and you and here you go married and gilded winner my brother in arms and thomas derrickson for missy and tim johnson this was one that she was really talking about that really really liked it, she said that he that's the only gilding they own. <laughs> Everything else is either a mare or a stud, but she said she loved his disposition and his, uh, the way he was, the way he acted, just everything about it. You know, they always say a good stud makes a great gilding. Well, this one right here, it made a great gilding because yeah. she's tickled with him and he is doing good. And here's Gio, Bowie Williams. Geo took was reserved, and Bowie made a real good oh, yeah. show in that. She was bragging on him. Now she was bragging on David. wasn't bragging. On him. <laughs> she was bragging on him. But Bowie does a good job on riding them horses now. Oh he's, yeah, well he's he, been around it for a long been time for years. Family, years. And all he rode, raised up in it and stuff like that. So oh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, he's very smart on them horses now. Oh yeah, he's smart. He, he's, he knows. He knows his horses. Well, that G O, G E O or G O, however how they want to say his name, he's 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 a good one. Bowie's in them race horses too. Oh yeah, but he does a little bit all. Right here, three-year-old stallion, man, spotlight on Jose, Bill Calloway from 4G. This is another one that came from the Derricksons. But now, Bill, he's undefeated on that horse. That's the horses. Hey, spotlight on Jose, that's another one of Bob Adcock's good ones. Every time you look up, Bob's got a good one out there, and that's one of them. That horse, that speaks for himself. Yeah, he does. He just gets out there and does it. Bill does a good job. Oh, yeah, Bill does a real good job. Alan told me he would tinker with a horse till he found his right spot. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he does a good job of doing it. Spotlight on Jose. And here's Jose's desperate man. Caress made a outstanding show yeah. on this horse. I kept looking, 
And I said, she's up there close to the top. She's liable to win this thing. Amateur three-year-old. She made a great ride on him for Nancy and Tommy Mills. Oh, like I say, Chris, she's a, I'm a, a, a good rider. You better believe she is. She, I mean, she can, she can ride. She can do a real good ride. Well, she, for instance, that's a horse well. Oh, yeah. It sets, sets good, too. Got a good seat. And the thing I like about it, she always trying to better herself every time she show. I can, I just heard a conversation that she had when she come out of the ring. Oh, she yeah. doing good. Right here's your winner, Jose. It ain't so, and I am Kelly, your steak horse winner. And that was a tough class, cause there was, I mean, some tough ones in there, buddy. And this would come out on top. Yep, Jose. It ain't so, and R. M. Kelly for Jake Jacobs. That's been a nice horse for a long time too. Oh yeah, you know that's the only horse ever beat I am Jose. Yep, sure is. Mm -hmm. and I believe uh, the judge is the one that started. Yep, yeah. yeah, the one that started. Yeah, that was a good class, tough class, from start to finish. That was, that's a good horse. And Zaro Jr. Monte, I really like this horse, but. Z Beth does a good job with this horse. Sam Martin was reserved on Zorro Jr. Gonna put a mask on him. But that, <laughs> that was good. Beth's got a lot of good horses. Oh yeah. And all of them doing a good job. But Sam, Sam does a good Sam job. Sam does a real good job. A hard working, a hard worker. Well, they could call him Little Jimmy now. <laughs> Zorro Jr. and Sam Martin for Beth Beasley. Tell you what, that, that looks awful good to oh, yeah. me. Real good. I'm telling you, these horses, from start to finish this weekend, I'm going to have to say the horses were about as good as you could ask for. And the ring, you didn't see anything out of the way. All of them just out there stroking, yep. walking, getting it done. I was, I was tickled to death in the numbers. The numbers were really impressive. It was real good. So Real good. Had some real good shows. People had, having fun. You know, people out there buying horses. Well, that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's I, what it's all about. I it's, sold a, quite a few this weekend myself. Hey, sell some more. Yeah. Keep going. We got... We got some sales coming up that were, they're going to be some high price coats. So they had some yearlings. I sold a bunch of yearlings this weekend now. Well, that's, mm -hmm. that's what it's all about, selling them and getting them going, getting out there and go. Yep. But now Friday night, we've got the Cornersville Lions Club show. That's always a good one. Yes. But fried peach pies. <laughs> got to have them. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this week. But, uh, be sure to go to Carnival this weekend, and we'll see you next week with another show. Be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, uh, please start talking.